This is a recipe for spiced roast cauliflower. What you need to do before you roast it is boil it. I've had that in for 10 minutes and it is now really tender. Not, it'll, it has a little bit of bite to it. I drain it, then we're going to make the spiced butter. You need a tablespoon of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil. Melt them together. My curry spices are the usual ones. Coriander, teaspoon of that. Turmeric, teaspoon of that. Cumin, teaspoon of that. Hot chili powder, teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon. Ginger, again, it's pretty hot, so maybe half a teaspoon. I'm using lazy garlic, but it's fine for this. I would normally use fresh garlic. And then you fry the whole lot together for about a minute or a minute and a half until it smells really fragrant. And to put the cauliflower into the dish that it's going to roast in, and I'm putting underneath the cauliflower a tomato sauce. You fry a chopped onion until it's soft, add a clove of crushed garlic, stir it about, about for a minute, and add a tin of tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, and that's it, out of a tin. And then paint the spiced butter all over the top. Now that goes into a really hot oven, about 220, for 20 minutes. And then have a look at it after 20 minutes. And if it's not too brown, keep it there for another 10 minutes. If it's beginning to brown, put a lid on it, like that. So my cauliflower's now had 25 minutes in the oven, because I thought it was getting brown enough. So I put the lid on 10 minutes ago. And it's really great for supper dish or summer lunch dish. If you wanted to make it a little grander for a dinner party, you could do what we put in our book. It's surrounded with a shoe ring, like to make it into a gouze, a kind of cheesy shoe paste. But to be honest, that is just as delicious and much quicker and easier to make.